Just doing a repair job on the pump out toilet and uh, it's got a problem in the, all the bolts from the bottom there's like a, a rubber flange and over the course of time it's just deteriorated to nothing and and all I've got is this what you can see there which is kind of just a a, a metal ring with some rubber around the edges which needs to be a seal otherwise you get obviously the the backwash from the toilet spills out all over the place and as you can see I've had to remove the carpet and uh, and dry that out and all the rest of it which isn't that nice job so at the moment I've finished drying it out so at the moment I'm just going to put something on the rust to stop it continuing to rust and then leave that for a little while and um, and then come back to it as you can see it's nothing spectacular all I've done is just put a tiny bit of protecting paint on it got some on the toilet there get rid of that and there uh, nothing Exciting. Right. right, that's it. Uh, almost dry, I suppose. I don't really care to be honest. I can see it's not the best, but it's not a paint job, it's a toilet job. So, what I'm going to do there's a little screw down here and um, goes to the flushing. So, I'm going to turn that off and then take the toilet off completely. I'll have a look. So, I'm just going to take this toilet off. Have a look. See what's underneath. So, for the moment of truth. Bad, but look at the bottom of the toilet. So we've got that bit there, just that. Give it a clean, maybe, and then uh, try and marry them up. So you can see I've got all the toilet out on the floor and stuff. It's um, it's not got anything in it. So here we go. Let's have a look at the. Uh, all I've tried to do is just drill these holes. So you've got four holes now, and I'm just gonna. Um, I've got some little bolts and stuff. That's the drill. So what I'm gonna do is I'm. Uh, going to put the bolts, cut some of these bolts from Pink here or wherever, you know from Wix's or somewhere, anyway, got some, um, some of those, and some wing nuts as well, it's going to be much easier to take it, you know, it's a easier to work with than the um, usual bolts because it's quite an awkward position, and to do the, to do the base of the toilet up it's quite awkward, can't really get a socket in there or anything. Uh, got this um, this stuff. I suppose I was going to use it to mark mark the um, like with a day glow sort of stuff. That sort of um, aerosol dot that it's, it leaves. Eight quid it was for that little nipple. Um, so that'll be in my backpack going back to Wix's later on this afternoon. 
Right, so there's my bolts. I'll put the bolts down there. Got one before. Um, they look okay. I mean, I think this one, this one here might be a little bit pointing out. It looks a bit skewed. So, let's see if it works. It's going on okay. Pretty easy as well, which is a good sign. So now we're just gonna put the um I'm gonna put some sealer in there, do the bolts up properly, so they're nice and tight, and then just gonna absolutely ram it and as much as sealer as I can fit in, really, just totally you know go mad with it and then um, put the wing nuts on top and then it's job done so that's what it looks like needs to dry off for a day they reckon but that doesn't mean I'm not going to use it because I will I will use it I'll just turn the water bit on so it it doesn't really um, it won't be flushed out in the same way hopefully I'm thinking it'll probably be not getting wet so it should be fine but I'll use it and um, still give it a little bit of time and then I'll start I have to put all this water where it's back on down the bottom there still got to put these pipes reattach the pipes and so I'll turn the water back on and uh, it's business as usual I suppose right well the uh, glue seems to have done all right and it's all dried off so it looks good and uh, I'm going to connect the water supply back up and this, put this back in there in this little um, groove here we've got a little um, a sleeve here connect all that stuff up and uh, then after that's done that's it really so we'll just put that back on and have to turn the water off so that it doesn't squirt all over the shop and then we'll put it back on and then we'll test it out so we've got these little blue bits Blue, blue PTFE washers and there's one on the pipe down there so this one must be going on that bit you have to put that one on the right on the right side so we've got a rubber bit and a PTFE bit on each side I don't know where it's gone now it's disappeared okay we've connected it all up that was Mm. as best we can with the, the two parts of the sleeve got all the washers back on there and I uh, put the clip around the little system tube going up to the very small system there at the back so I'm just going to turn it on see if it squirts or does anything nasty so off we go let's have a look down the boat there she is, all mod cons. So, like a little switch in the front, just turn it on. There we go. Let's turn the taps off. Okay, turn them on. Turn them off. And uh, tap number two. Turn that off. Now, the moment of truth. Let's go and have a look. Any leaks? Not immediately obvious. So I'm just gonna test the flush up. Lift it up. Test the flush. Okay, so that's not working. For some reason. Hmm. Wonder why that is. So it doesn't work. Hmm. Okay, I found I've got a little bit of sleeve in this, um, if you look, 
it's like a little bit of sleeve in there. So we're just going to take it out. This is missing from inside. No idea what it does, but um, I'll have to put that back in. I sort of turned this little screw thing into a, a linear position rather than an opposing position. I've not really tightened it up very much. I just want to see if the water comes on, and then I'll, if it starts leaking, we'll do something. Have a look. Doesn't appear to be doing much at the moment. Let's see if it flushes. So I'll just throw it. So yeah, there we go. It's that job done. Oh, it stinks. So there we are, fixed pump toilet. I'm going to tighten that all up a little bit just to be happy that it's not going to piss out all over the carpet. So once that's done we'll put the carpet down and uh, give it a squirt of air freshener and then try it out. Alright, there it is all secure. See you've done the air. Uh, done it all up. I'm going to leave it and have a coffee and then if it's not got any drips when I come back then we'll say that that's and, uh, good. And just put my hand down and see if there's any wet under there. No, there isn't. Just going to test it. Still works. That's it. All this stuff here could be cleaned up. It's like a little ring band, so I have to put that back on. And uh, so we'll um, just test it out. So I put it all down without the tape and just have a look. So it fits on. <laughs> Got it all swapped of it. I think it needs trimming slightly. But bits behind the toilet here which need to be yeah, done the best you can really I guess but it's like a jigsaw puzzle so I'm just going to do the floor ones first because they look fairly easy a little gap there but you do not a lot really so there we are, the newly refreshed bathroom. Nice working toilet, finally. Flushes. I don't know if you can see that. Flushing, flush. It uh, doesn't stink. Uh, there's no leaks down the side. Uh, the carpet's all sealed. And uh, as I say, it doesn't stink. And if anybody comes and sits on it, and uh, they can sit on it nicely like that, it doesn't move. And it's finished. Job done.